What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. This story is a little bit different, but it does pertain to an NBA player somewhat uh, related to this individual or has some sort of relationship to this individual that's about to undergo this traumatic video that is going viral on the internet. Now, John ja Morant, you know, he, he's been doing positive things in the community. Salute to John ja Morant. Um, he has a, a videographer by the name of Marquise Jackson, and he follows Ja and the guys around MBNO. If you see like photos or workout videos or some of the different things, he does a lot of that for Ja. It's important to know in this video you're about to see, I just want to set the scene a little bit. He was handcuffed after he was stopped inexplicably and placed it in the back of the police cruiser. The video that you're seeing, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this video. Uh, the cop allegedly gets hit by an acorn or a pine cone. Something falls from the tree as he gets close to the vehicle. He falls down, acts like you know he was hit, and then just starts firing into the car carelessly. Now this is from Marquise's page. On November 12, 2023, I, Marquise Jackson, was stopped by the Okaloosa County Sheriff's on McLaren Circle in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. While walking, another officer demanded another officer to search me. I was confused on why I was being searched because they never told me anything. I decided to cooperate and just follow demands. I knew I had not done anything wrong. I was searched multiple times, then unlawfully handcuffed and placed into the back of the cop car while being strapped down by the seat belts. That's crazy. OCSD planned to off me. One officer fate as if he was shot. Multiple shots then came from different directions. Okaloosa County Sheriff Department attempted to off me. A black young man unarmed, handcuffed, and locked in the back seat of the cop car. They have been harassing my family for so long now. When will it stop? OCSD has scared me and my family forever. The last video is what they did to my little brother recently. OCSD are trying to cover this up by not giving out the full body cam footage. There is so much more to be seen. Need for everyone to repost, share, and tag anyone you think could help me during this time. I was blessed not to get hit by any bullets or get hurt physically, but mentally, I'm not okay. I haven't been the same since, and I don't think this feeling I have will ever change. I truly believe I'm damaged for life. You can see John Morant mad under the post and also, you know, sending up his prayers and everything. And Josh saying he in this with him. You know, that's his Brody. He's, we in this with you. Sorry this happened to you, all that. So you can see, like, this is Josh's guy. And without further ado, we're going to look at the videos and. I'm going to show you just how crazy this is and how how uh, ridiculous this is, man. Let's check it out. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! You know... Pat him down, please. What's that? Pat him down. What I'm getting patted down for? Do you have any weapons on you? No. Okay. What I'm getting patted down for? Because you're getting patted down. Why? 
Do you have any weapons on you? No, I don't have no weapons okay. on me. Don't got no weapons on me. Hands on your pockets. Okay. So, what's, what's your side? I ain't got no side. I ain't got... Whatever she said is what it is. And so, whatever she want to do, let's do it. And see how far she want to take it. Can I talk to her? No. Can I call her? Can I talk to her more? Mm-mm. Stay seated in that upright manner by the back right door. Face away. You're about to go in the handcuffs. What am I doing? Hey, y'all see this shit, bro? This shit crazy as fuck, man. Drop your phone. Man, fuck that phone, bro. Y'all niggas tripping, bro. What the fuck y'all doing, dude? For what? For what? Turn the face away. Roll on your stomach. Now, roll on your stomach. 66, tears the floor. Now, I couldn't play the remainder of that clip. I don't know YouTube's policy on that. You know, when he fell and hit the ground and all that. But that was his little brother. That's the clip he was alluding to in his post on Instagram. And I just want y'all to see how messed up that is. An acorn or pine cone, they're debating which one fell from the tree. Must have tapped him on the head or, you know, hit him. And he's falling down saying he's hit, he's hit. Now, the thing is, I know they say, like, you have adrenaline rushes as cops when you get hit by a bullet or something. But you didn't hear anything fire. I mean, so you think he sh Like, you see the windows up and the cruiser, you know his hands is behind his back. Why are you shooting at the cruiser? Why are you assuming it's him anyway? You know, you walking by the car with the windows up. How are you getting hit? You know what I'm saying? Like, this this guy needs to be relieved of his duties ASAP. He needs to be charged with attempted murder, man. This is ridiculous. Like, luckily this guy wasn't mowed down. But it, it makes you wonder, like, what has actually happened that we haven't seen on video. Now that this is Jaws' guy... You know, should have the lawyers and stuff to fight this properly, man. Um, because that's, you know, he's within Ja's circle. And I know Ja gets a lot of bad press, a lot of bad coverage. And, you know, sometimes rightfully so in the past. But I want to make sure we come on here and cover this so they don't try to just lump this in with, like, the Pacers incident and other things like that. Because we don't see anyone... Um, posting it and saying that this happened to somebody Jaws close to and the guy didn't do it like he didn't do anything to deserve this so we, we got to cover it both ways you know what I'm saying because um, they, they'll try to use this to play with his name if something else was to happen or something else comes up you know what I'm saying so um, yeah this is this is wild though I want to know what you guys think about the cops and their training and you know him being trigger happy like that and not just him you could see the female cop shooting from the front of the vehicle into the car and so this man could have he could have really been executed right there and that just doesn't sit well with me uh, I, I don't know the extent of his brother's situation but we could see plain as day you know he walking down the street not bothering nobody they stop them frisk them probably see a, a a man of color in an affluent area and think okay he don't belong here so he gets harassed and you know the the, the cop though that 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 is dangerous man i like the rolling around on the ground and acting like you had just been you know shot by ak-47 50 times like to get on the ground and put on that theatrical show and put that man's life in jeopardy i don't think it should be light or should be brushed over now he said they're trying to hide footage and and they're working together to try to like only give out bits and pieces so he says so much more to show marquise that is he says that's so there's so much to show there that um 
you know, this only tells a piece of the story. And that's sad. If we only just seen the tip of the iceberg in this, what else is there to show? That's crazy. <laughs> that's absolutely crazy, man. And I, I really hope that this guy gets proper justice, man. Because uh, if this was John ja Morant in the car or something like that, and, you know, the guns was flashing... Every major media outlet will be saying something about it. But they're trying to really suppress this and, and show that, hey, we do get done wrong sometimes. We do get pulled over for no reason. We do get shot at for no reason. See what I'm saying? So I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments, though. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Peace.